Hi everyone, and welcome back to DD Academy. My name is Robert Gonzalez, and today we'll be covering HubSpot's website pages and landing pages tool. This will include how to make page edits, how to create new pages, and some tips and tricks on how to make your pages look great across all screen sizes. Let's get started. Before diving into the nitty gritty, let's first define the differences between website pages and landing pages. Their editing interface you'll find is practically identical, but the main difference between the two is how they are organized categorically under each umbrella. Website pages are your evergreen pages, pages that will be around for years to come and include things like your homepage, your contact page, and your about us page. Landing pages, on the other hand, are solely focused on conversion. Most of them, if not all of them, will include a form and oftentimes include a content offer such as an ebook. People also often choose to remove their main menu from the page entirely. This is so that their users can focus on the content that the page is offering. Let's take a look at all of this in more detail. To get to either website pages or landing pages, click on Marketing, Website, and then choose the appropriate website option. After doing so, you'll actually find that each of these website tools, including blogs, exists in their own tab, and you can easily switch between these tabs by clicking on them. The only difference between the Website Pages tab and the Landing Pages tab is that the Landing Pages tab has the option to organize things into folders. Other than that, they're exactly the same. The first set of options you'll find are a set of filters. This includes the option to filter by domain, campaign, page type, and page state. This last option includes pages in draft, scheduled to be published, already published, or archived. The all website pages view does not include archived pages. By hovering over a page, you'll see several options to either edit or clone the page, and a more dropdown with several options, including unpublishing, archiving, deleting, and more. You can also mass delete or archive pages by selecting multiple pages at once. Now that we have covered the basics, let's take a look at how to actually create and edit pages. There are several ways to do this, but we are going to be building our pages using a template with a flexible column. If you build your pages either using a static template or HubSpot's new theme editor, check the description for videos on those topics. To create a new page, simply click Create, and then select Website Page or Landing Page. The process for both is identical. Then choose a template, give your page a name, and then click Create Page. From there, on the left-hand side of the page, you'll see options to add new modules. To add a new module, simply search for the module you want and drag it onto the page. Now, once you've added a module, there are two ways to edit it in line or in the side pane. Custom modules like this banner have all of their options available in the side pane. And in this case, includes things like header text, a menu, and video URLs. Default HubSpot modules, however, are editable in line. For example, this rich text module, once dragged onto the page, can be edited directly on the page itself. Modules can also be deleted, or even totally rearranged. You'll also notice that throughout the editing experience, you're going to see this word processor toolbar. This includes basic options like being able to bold text or underline it, change its color, or create lists. But it also gives you the option to insert special kinds of content, such as images, CTAs, videos, tables, and a whole lot more. This toolbar when editing in line is going to appear at the top of the page, but when you're editing a module itself, it will also appear over in the side pane. If you make any mistakes while editing, you have two main options to fix it. First is the undo and redo arrows located here, and these are best for small, immediate fixes. If you want to revert the page back to an earlier point in time, simply click here, find version history, and you can select the earlier version that you want. 
You also have the option to do A-B testing, but we'll cover that in a separate video. Once you have the page exactly how you want it, there are several ways in which you can test your page to make sure it's looking exactly how you want across all your devices. To do so, simply click the preview button here, and you'll have the option to test several different kinds of devices, including desktop, tablet, and mobile phone. You'll also have the option to open a preview link of the page in your current browser, which you can then share with your colleagues or test in other browsers. So while these tools are useful, they aren't always totally reliable. So make sure to always check your pages on other browsers, such as Chrome, Firefox, or Safari, and on other devices, such as your iPhone, PC, MacBook, or Android. Now let's take a look at settings. Here, you can set a title for your page, a page language, page URL, meta description, campaign, and featured image. Page title and meta description are especially important, so make sure it is an accurate and succinct description of your page with keywords and phrases so browsers can more easily identify what your page is about and you can rank for the topics you want. Next is the Optimize tab, which will give you hints and suggestions for how you might make your page more SEO friendly. Some of these things may not apply to you though, so it's up to your own discretion on whether or not to implement them. Finally, we have the Schedule tab, which allows users to either publish the page now or schedule the page to be published at a future date and time. And that'll do it for our tutorial on HubSpot's website pages and landing pages tools. Please leave any questions you have in the comments down below and check the description for additional resources. See you next time.